Good day, my name is Christelle from France Leclerc Independent Technical Analysts. Gareth wanted us to kick off the show with capital in counties. We can see in that week of the 5th of August and 12th of August, there was a beautiful tweezer bottom that formed there. And that was confirmed when the share changed 35 rand 50 into a support. Ever since then, there was beautiful, strong, bullish engulfing candles and belt hold line candles that confirmed that the momentum to the top is in place. Now, the strong resistance was has now changed into a support and that waited at 39.86. And we can see in this week's scandal, the share retraced, almost tested it, but before it could even test it, it found enough buyers to lift the share price to higher levels. Now, the strong next resistance that needs to be overcome is waiting there on that red line, and that is the 40-week moving average. And remember, this is a weekly graph of capital in counties, and that 40-week moving average is waiting at 41 rand 78. We can assume that the long-term sentiment towards the share will change to positive when that 41 rand 78 closes on a Friday, when the share price closes above that 41.78 on a Friday. So technically, that is the resistance that needs to change into a support. But if we zoom back, we can see that this share is coming from a low basis. I mean, back in the day, in around... December 2015, this share traded around 105 Rand and then ever since then just reached for lower levels. So that strong resistance is waiting at 41.78, but it needs to change it into support and keep it one. Because we can see if we look at, if we go back to the history, we can see that the share struggled to keep the 40 week moving average a support. So Gareth Capital in counties, have a keep an eye on that 41 around 78 especially on a friday close your stock this is a stochastic indicator that we've used here there are many indicators that you can use to highlight overbought and oversold in the um levels we we're almost in overbought territory not really yet it's only that shorter moving average that is above an 80 so it's too late i think to enter now I'd rather wait for a decent pullback or if you're very keen to enter into the share, wait for that 40 week moving average to either change into a support or remain a resistance and then make your long term decision based on what that 40 week moving average does. Keith wanted us to look at Richmond and we've previously mentioned that there's a head and shoulder formation on Richmond that is warning. And that head and shoulder formation was, was, was developed and now confirmed when that neckline there changed into a resistance. So technically, that head and shoulder formation, that warning formation is now on the table. And the target of that formation is first, the conservative target, we can take the length of the left or the right shoulder and project it downwards, which means that this share can definitely go back to at least that red line, which is the 40 week moving average. And that is waiting at 107 Rand 32. Now we know the 40 week moving average is the line in the sand for long term investors. Above it, positive, below it, the sentiment changes to negative. Now, more importantly, I've also drawn in here a strong support line that have sustained the momentum to the top in place since about March 2017. We can see that there's a false break. In other words, the share plummeted below that support, but found enough buyers to lift it again above this strong support, waiting there at around 102 Rand 83. Now we can see this is a massive bearing golfing candle and if that 40 week moving average changes us into a resistance and remains one, the share can easily reach even lower to back to that 102 Rand 80. But more importantly, look at these tops. And this high year, year in August uh, 2019, is lower than this one year and there. And that one confirms and implies lower highs that is seen as negative. It tells us the share is running out of steam even for the long term because this is a weekly graph. But this might also be a possible, and some analysts might say that, Christelle, this high year is not as close to these highs. Needless to say, the picture remains the same because one, it will confirm a lower high when 102 Rand 80 changes into a resistance, but it can also be a distorted type of triple top. Now we know that the head and shoulders, double top, triple top formations are warning formations that should not be disregarded. 
So if that level there around 10280 changes into resistance and remains one, the share can easily go and test these strong support levels there around 88 to 85, or then even lower there at around 8070. So Keith, keep an eye on that 40-week moving average. Our confidence in the share will only be back in place again when that right shoulder waiting there at 120 rand 47 changes into a support again. And for any of our new viewers, what does it mean when a share needs to change something into a support? A support is like a floor. In other words, the share needs to start to consolidate above that level again. It needs to find enough buyers to lift it again above that 121 rand 50. So above it, we can maybe see more optimism, again, back to around 132 Rand. But this head and shoulder formation, if by Friday it remains below 112 Rand 70, that head and shoulder formation will be confirmed. It is a warning formation and it needs to warn us and say, be a little bit careful, maybe take profits in the rallies or wait to see what that 40-week moving average does. Clive wanted us to look at Kumba. Now, Kumba is flirting or fighting, depending whether you're long or short on the stock, with that 40-week moving average. And again, it's that sentiment, the long-term sentiment for the line in the sand. Um, we can see it retraced, tested that 40-week, and again this week, it could keep it a support. And that is seen as positive. And that 40-week moving average on Kumba is waiting at 404 rand and 2 cent. Now we can see again possible lower highs if the stock starts to consolidate below 395 Rand and 9 cents. And I want to extend this trend line there because it was tested a couple of times. But we can see that the long term, this 40 week moving is also keeping the momentum to the top in place. We will only feel a little bit more comfortable about Kumba when it starts to consolidate at least above 479 Rand 73 again. So that 40-week moving average needs to remain a support. And then that strong support at 395.90 also needs to remain a support. Otherwise, my next lower high will be confirmed. But let's just look at the stochastic indicator here. It has broken upwards. The two moving average, the shorter one, that blue line, has broken upwards through that longer moving average, the orange line, in oversold territory. Now, on a stochastic indicator, a share or an instrument is seen as oversold when it is below a 20 or a 10. So within the oversold territory, it broken upwards and that is seen as positive. It implies that the probability of the share to reach for higher levels is more likely. Now, if I look at my candles, it confirms that statement because we can see long lower shadows on my 40 week moving average and therefore I can I can say with a, a recent amount of certainty that we might see higher levels on Kumba. So if you're a long term investor, your stop loss can be that 404 Rand and 2 cent. If you want a little bit of a bigger stop loss, use that strong trend line there around 395.90. Moshe wanted us to look at Impala. Now for all the platinum lovers out there, I mean this stock Disappointed nobody, unless you missed the 40-week the, the, the moving average when it changed it into a support there, tested it, and ever since then it was just one beautiful rally to higher levels. Beautiful bullish um, flag formation here where it was a small pullback in an upside, and again the share found enough buyers to lift it above higher levels. Now the big question is where do I take my profit? One of the questions every investor or trader struggles with, especially when they've got double digit growth. Now, our stochastic is overbought, but we know that a stochastic indicator can remain overbought and the share price can continue to reach for higher levels. We know that the second indicator or indication that will give us a hint that we might see lower levels is when that shorter, that blue moving average within the indicator starts to break through that longer moving average, which is what we refer to as a divergence. Where my indicator is pointing downwards, but my share price is still pointing upwards. Now, if I look at last week's candle, remember this is a weekly graph of Impala. This is a clearly a spinning candle. Some might even call it maybe a do long leg doji because of the long legs on both sides. But what that candle implies is indecision. 
The, the buyers could not really lift it and trend it even to higher levels, and neither could the sellers take it to lower levels. So the clear indecision tells us that the buyers and sellers are looking each other in the eye and they're deciding what to do with the stock. Now, this week we could see that the buyers were back. They started to buy when the low was around 91 rand 39, excuse me, around 85.57, and they managed to lift it all above 91, 91. And now it needs to see, we need to see if this, the buyers can continue this uptrend. When will my first sign of weakness appear? Only below the low of that doji or spinning candle, and that will be around 80 rand 38. Now, some might say, Crystal, the share might just suck us in and then spit us out. Why? Because it might even happen. If you've seen this morning, the platinum price is very volatile. So what we can do next is wait for lower highs. So we wait for the share to retrace, make a little bit of a bounce, and then not go as high as the previous high, and then lose momentum again and then retrace. And when that next support changes into a resistance, that would be an indication that there's a lower high in place and maybe we shouldn't be too greedy and start to take profit on this um, Impala stock. But at the momentum, at the moment, the momentum is uh, to the top is clearly in place. Yes, I've got overbought territories, but my candle shows that the buyers are still in control.